this. Uh, you guys know we love to talk about anything related to Nicolas Cage, my personal favorite living actor. And I actually didn't even know about this movie, but I'm super excited now that I've heard about it for a number of reasons, obviously Nick Cage being one of them. Uh, but I guess there's this new movie out or that's, you know, coming out soon called Long Legs starring Nicolas Cage. And it's directed by Oz Perkins. That's really, really exciting to me because I've been waiting for Oz Perkins to do something else. I'm a huge fan of his film, The Black Coat's Daughter. I don't know if you've seen that, Alex, but it's a A24 horror film. Super underrated, super, super underrated. One of the most underrated horror films of the last decade, in my opinion. And I've just been a big fan of this guy's work. I've been meaning to check out his 2020 film, Gretel and Hansel, which I've actually heard is really underrated as well. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that Oz Perkins is a real talent and his films are really interesting. You know, they're not conventional and not everyone has been a big fan of his work because of the fact that it is quite unconventional. But I find it to be uh, very bold and I find his artistic choices to be quite charismatic. So I'm really excited to see what he does next. And it looks like what he's doing next is this serial killer film starring Nicolas Cage, which holy shit shit now i'm so excited um as it says here nick cage has been on a roll these last five years he's now started four critically acclaimed performances mandy pig dream scenario and the unbearable weight of massive talent he's undertaking these unconventional choices and leaning into a trajectory where he gets to play with the persona he's built and deviating from it simultaneously up next for cage not including this month's dream scenario which i'm super excited for is Long Legs, produced by Neon and directed by Oz Perkins. Long Legs tested on Thursday night, and the reactions seem to be split into two camps, love and hate. One thing's for sure, it sounds like Cage is swinging for the fences once again. Um, it says it's an acquired taste, slow burn style, but deeply unsettling and steeped in the satanic panic of the 70s serial killer horror. So, oh my God, literally everything about this makes me so excited i love satanic panic era stuff i love 70s serial killer horror i love nick cage and i love oz perkins so oh my god this movie seems just like the perfect brew for me i can't wait for this uh, and the official synopsis is lee harker a talented new fbi agent has been assigned to an unsolved case of a serial killer as the investigation becomes more complicated and occult evidence is uncovered harker realizes a personal link to the ruthless killer and must act quickly to prevent another family murder it also stars Maka monroe who's a great actress she was in watcher and it follows two of my favorite horror films of the last decade as well. So, oh my God, guys, this just looks amazing. The more I hear about this, the more it becomes one of my very most anticipated films that's upcoming. Do you have any reaction to this, Alex? Does this sound I mean, out Nicholas Cage is on a roll recently. Like he's made how many movies? He's made uh, he's made this uh, unbearable weight of mass talent, like this one, Mandy and Pig, and he's gonna. Be in Dream Scenario in the next month, and we're all very excited for Dream Scenario. Dream Scenario is going to be like one of our is like one of our most anticipated films of the next uh, few years. Um, and uh, yeah, I still need to see this guy's this guy's work. But again, I'm I'm really excited for Nicolas Cage. He's finally out of that debt, and he can finally make some uh, make some interesting films. Yeah, I would definitely recommend everyone check out the movie the black coat's daughter by oz perkins it's definitely a slow burn horror film but i thought it was really compelling really gripping and genuinely creepy so check that out if you haven't seen anything by oz perkins if you guys don't know by the way oz perkins is actually the son of anthony perkins from psycho so you know that's a pretty cool uh piece of trivia that some people might not be aware of um but yeah he definitely comes from a horror family and i think he's a fantastic director i cannot wait to see him working with nicholas cage who's just such a talented actor i know i always harp on this but a lot of people you know they've just seen like national treasure and you know some shit like that and they don't really understand what nicholas cage or is the capable. memes yeah yeah there's, there's a... so many memes about uh cage as well but i urge you all to check out the movie pig if you have not seen it I mean, obviously, there's a million movies I could point to. Adaptations, amazing. Mandy is amazing. Bad Lieutenant is amazing. But I think that a lot of people 
who have this idea of Nick Cage in their mind. I think that if they watch Pig, it's just going to totally destroy all of these kind of like stereotypes that you have in your head about his acting abilities. Because what he does in that movie is so unexpected. It's so like tender um, and, and just so, so beautiful. Um, so definitely check out Pig and check out some Oz Perkins movies if you haven't seen any of his work. Because if you do, I think you'll be just as excited for this as I am. This looks freaking awesome.